All right, let's get to some questions here. We're going to get to y'all in a minute. Let me, get, let me get a few out, first of all. Let's, let's, let's start with the term uh, super predators. Now, earlier this week, Bill Clinton made some very disturbing comments seeming to defend Secretary Clinton's now infamous super predator comments and disparage the Black Lives Matter activists. What are your thoughts about what he said, Senator Sanders? Unacceptable. I think we all know what that term meant when the, in the context that it was said years ago. We know who they were talking about. That's exactly right. That's who it was. <laughs> and I think that the president owes the American people an apology for trying to defend what is indefensible. But let me, if I may, say it was not just that. During that period, a piece of legislation called the so-called Welfare Reform Act was passed. You all remember that? And the premise, which was a right-wing Republican premise, was that the problem was that all of these poor people were really living high off the hog. They were all the quote-unquote welfare queens. Remember that? All these poor people just living so well on welfare. <laughs> and that bill was passed, and the result of it was that extreme poverty for the poorest of the poor went up very significantly in our country. And what that politics is about, what that psychology is about, is to adopt the Republican belief that the way you get votes is beating up on the poorest and most vulnerable people in this country. That is a bad, bad way to win votes. To beat up on people who are helpless, who are barely making it economically, and to go after them to win votes and to cut benefits for children, for moms, is unacceptable. And we are gonna put an end to that mentality. We're not gonna be beating up on the poor. You know, if you notice, in today's, much of today's political discussion, the word poverty is virtually not mentioned. You know that? It's not mentioned. We got 47 million people living in poverty. We have the highest rate of childhood poverty of any major country on earth. I'm gonna put the issue of poverty back on the table. And we'll continue to talk about it, but first point is I think President Clinton owes the American people an apology for defending the indefensible. <laughs>